So, I want to share my experiences with my Audi A4, so 2004 edition, um, with this taper here, the bore joint, as you can see I'm halfway through the job, because that taper is seized into that sort of collar, hardened steel collar, because obviously the knuckle is alu. So you won't be able to put a taper in there, a deform, so Audi in their infinite wisdom decides to put hardened steel fitment in there. So to get it out, I've been using a good old sledge, small sledge. So this is a, I think it's a 15 mil. Yep, 15 mil impact socket. Not the right use for the tool, I grant it, but needs must when the devil drives. And that fits over the thing, goes in there. I've been holding it with pliers because I have hit my thumb already, much swearing. And as you can see, it's driving it out nicely. So then, once stage one is complete, stage two. So stage one is complete, taken out. Now to pull off the um, hardened steel sleeve been soaked in WD-40. Actually it does retear but so I'm going to clamp in my workmate so I can just pull up the pressure. Hopefully it should come off. If not I'll apply some heat to hopefully expand the hardened steel sleeve and get results there. Right, so stage two failed quite badly. This is somehow welded to the taper. There's no way I bent the uh, collar there. I, f I weld on it, I pulled it with the, and I turned it upside down, tried to hit her, nothing. So I went to my little scrapyard, punched out another one from a suspension arm that was gonna come out. I got Got two just in case. This is one I'm going to use. Double checked that it fits because this is on the other side. Obviously, should replace some impairs. That fits lovely. There's my brand new suspension arm there. Right, so now to press it in. There, you could put this in the freezer overnight to help shrink it down a tad just to help it go in. I didn't have that luxury. I was going to do it if that was going to come off, but it didn't. So I'm going to use some threaded rod, some washers, nuts, and sockets to press it in because I don't have the luxury of a hydraulic press. I'm going to use some molly grease to help get it in there, just a tad, and some copper grease on the taper just to stop it happening ever again because probably should never have to do it again in the life of the car, but you never know. Okie dokie. Right. Okay, so I've got my jack supporting the suspension arm because it wobble around too much. A socket on top of the, the threaded, the hardened steel insert. Threaded rod, two nuts at the top, put a spanner there just to keep it on with a washer. Two washers under here with another that. I have my ratchet spanner. And now, just crank it back in. It ain't perfect, but it's working. So I put a bit of molly grease in there just to help this style. And as you can see, it's going in pretty smoothly. As you can see, probably, you were, probably can't zoom in. That's a bit gnarled up from when I to get the motherfucker out to begin with. Should sweat. Almost home. <laughs> See, it's nice and flush in there. Draw 
see who took this out and how to put it back in. I'm not going to go through that. You can see how gnarled up the LU is here from when I was trying to whale that bastard out, but it wasn't happening. So, hope this helps a lot of people out there. I struggled this with this for about a week or so. Nightmare. Any questions? Give me a shout. Thanks for watching.